Uh, it's a great pleasure to have my friend and colleague Sigrid Cog here as the uh, UN coordinator for humanitarian reconstruction assistance for, for Gaza. Uh, over the past week or so, we've been working to address urgent challenges that are making it uh, difficult to deliver the necessary humanitarian assistance to the people of Gaza who so desperately need it, particularly uh, when it comes to the security uh, of the deliveries and those delivering the, the assistance. Um, I raised these concerns clearly and directly with uh, Israel's Defense Minister, Yoav Gallant, when he was here just a few days ago. Uh, and I think we've seen uh, over the last uh, couple of days some progress in Israel committing to address um, some of the needs that the United Nations in particular has to make sure that it can effectively and more safely deliver assistance. We continue to face uh, the challenge of aid getting to and into Gaza, but then not uh, being able to be distributed effectively because uh, principally of uh, real security challenges. And so when it comes to making sure that food, water, medicine, uh, and other basic necessities uh, that the Palestinian people need just to survive, uh, get to them, uh, we continue to have important work to do. Um, it's good that, uh, and important that Israel is addressing these very concrete needs, but uh, they have to be implemented as quickly as possible. There is no time to lose. Uh, and I'm also eager to hear from Sigrid uh, ongoing needs, ongoing requirements to make sure that both uh, the United Nations, private uh, providers of assistance, uh, all of the countries that are working together to try to help Palestinian people who need it so desperately, how we can be uh, more effective. And with that, Secretary, Thank good you. to have you here. Thank you, Mr. Secretary, and indeed, um, my friend Tony, but also, of course, the Secretary of State of the, of the United States, I'm delighted to be here. Uh, it is indeed a very critical period. Uh, I'm responsible for the implementation of Security Council Resolution 2720, which was born out of political necessity in the face of ever-growing humanitarian needs reaching near catastrophic conditions when the resolution was adopted in December. It's been a very uh, tough and difficult period for the civilians in Gaza and of course also the families of the Israeli hostages who continue to leave, live with deep uncertainty about the fate of their loved ones. But the focus of my mission is on the civilians in Gaza, to get the volume, the quality, and the predictability of assistance that they so desperately need, uh, given uh, the fact that they've left their homes, 1.9 million people are displaced, they survive in tents, uh, there's absence of almost anything anyone could possibly imagine. So it's our task indeed, not only to get the aid to Gaza, but also to have the ability to distribute this safely and securely. And I'm not only saying this for the United Nations family, it's also for the NGOs that risk their lives every day with, in their presence. Palestinian NGOs as much as the international NGOs. It's a very difficult operating environment for the civilians, first and foremost, but also those who seek to assist. And that is a constant dialogue where the support the leadership of the United Nations States is so very important for the United Nations to be able to succeed uh, and equally so if there is hope of a ceasefire deal it's also important we take stock and we look towards the early recovery needs health facilities children back into learning anything that forms part of what we would all consider human dignity for our fellow human beings and that's a shared commitment and the ongoing discussions with the Israeli government are extremely important in this regard, with strong support uh, and the leadership of the United States, and Tony Blinken in particular. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. everyone.